Today I'll be showing you how you can bypass the Windows login screen. Without password. And before we get started kids, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, <laughs> well go ahead and tell them, you know who is Mr. Hacker Loy. And let's see what happens from there. And this is a really simple tutorial I'm telling you that. Because when I was doing it, I was not expecting it to work. And because it is that easy, anyone can do it. Which is why securing a computer is incredibly important. Because you want to ensure that no one else has physical access to your laptop or desktop, whichever the case is. Because if they do, all they need is a simple USB device, plug in the computer, and it's game over. Now, right in front of us, we have a computer. And the whole reality is that I have no idea where's the password. Even though I've been watching all the YouTube videos from Mr. Hacker Lloyd, but the reality is I don't know the password. So if I was to try entering something, so I'm doing a best guess effort, and I'm looking up at all these data breaches and seeing which of these passwords could possibly belong to Lloyd Leung Young. So in that case, if I click go, then it states the password is incorrect. All right, then the whole idea behind this now is to think about Okay, what can we do? And if you look over here, there's several things that can allow you to execute something else. So what's really interesting is if you look at the bottom right corner, right here, this one is what we are targeting. And what happens is when you clicked on it, it calls something called utilman.exe. All right, so this is something that gets executed the moment you run on it. So say for example, right now I go ahead and clicked on it and you can see right here, it has a pop-up. It's like narrator, magnifile, on-screen keyboard and so on and so forth, okay? This calls something. So the first thing that you need is a target computer. I mean, if there is no computer, then there is no hack at all. Next thing you need is a handy USB drive, which will then allow you to insert into the computer, going into installation mode, which will then allow us to go into one, of course, this installation two is command prompt. Then number three, what we're doing here is to switch or change what is going to be executed when the user clicks on the ease of accessibility. When I'm looking at this tutorial, initially I thought it wasn't going to work, but it did. It's fascinating. So easy. I thought it's going to be some super complicated type of hacking technique, but apparently not. So what you need to do right now is to create that installation media. All right. So in this case, we have create installation media for Windows. All right. So it works for Windows 10, 8.1 and Windows 7. You can see right here, you can use installation media to install a new copy of Windows, perform a clean installation or reinstall Windows. So this is what we need, okay? So what you can do now is go ahead, and in my case, you can be Windows 11, Windows 10. I will click onto Windows 10, and you can see right here, create Windows 10 installation media. Go ahead and select onto download now. All right, so once you're ready, go ahead and save it to whichever file, folder, directory you want to go ahead and save. Click to replace it. Yes, in my case, because I'm doing it for your view. And once the download is done, go ahead and double click on it, and you will see a pop-up. All right, so it states the following. Windows 10 setup, getting a few things ready. So once you're in right here, go ahead and spend the next few minutes reading this through. All right, I have not read this. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead and click accept, getting a few things ready again. So you see the following right here. What do you want to do? Create installation media. So we have several options, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file. All right, click next. Okay, so go ahead and whether you want to do it for the recommended option, whichever the case is, right? It really depends on what is the target desktop or laptop you're aiming for, okay? Click next. So in this case, you can choose a handy USB flash drive, or in my case, I'm doing everything that's virtualized. So I will be selecting ISO file. I click next. Okay, you can see right here, we have the Windows ISO. And let me go to windows.iso, click save to replace it, enter yes for that and you see the following progress right here. Feel free to keep using your PC. So progress 5%, 7%, so on. Just give it a while more. And once it's done, your ISO all, if you're using a USB drive, it's ready. And all you need to do is to plug that into the computer, restart the computer, and you are done. So once it is completed, you can see the following over here. So we're on users, young desktop windows.iso, and you can burn the ISO to a DVD if you want to. Or of course, if you use the USB option, Again, you will see something similar to this and click on finish, you are done, okay? And once you have plugged in the USB in the computer, you can click onto the power button right now and go ahead and click onto restart. Okay, so we're seeing the restart right here and press any key to boot from CD, DVD or whatever. 
and you see the following. Okay, so this is going to be the setup. And what you need to do right now is, I know it's a little small, let's see what I can get something up for you so that we can get this to zoom a little more. And once you reach this page, what you need to do right now on your keyboard is to hit Shift with F10, and that will pop up the command prompt. And this is beautiful because this means that we can do lots of things here. For example, changing the font size of the command prompt. Okay, just kidding, this is nothing to do with the tutorial. So what is going to happen right now is we need to change up where utilman.exe is in. So the first thing you need to do is to get all the drives that's available. So go ahead and enter on that. Okay, let's see what we get over here. And you can see the following. We have C, D, E, and X drives that are available for us to target. Let's see what we get when we go into C drive and enter DIR. Okay, there's nothing here. So how about D drive then? Let's enter DIR. Okay, so this is interesting. In the drive, we have some interesting information right here. So if I go to E drive, what do we get here? I'll take a look. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be D drive that we're targeting, okay? So in this case, what we need to do is to CD over into Windows. And what you do next is you CD over into System32. So this is where you two man.exe reside in. And what you do now is go ahead and rename it by entering REN followed by you two man dot exe and then changing the name so say for example in this case youtube man 2.exe done next up what we need to do right now is to go ahead and enter copy all right cmd.exe to youtube man.exe so what we have done now we have changed this up and once you're ready go and close all right and go ahead and close the windows setup are you sure you want to cancel windows installation yes and we're going to skip the press any key to boot from cd or dvd so that we go into the login screen okay okay so we're into the login screen now go to the bottom right side ease of access go ahead and click on it boom <laughs> you can see the screen right here it means we can do anything we want including changing the user's password and you can enter the following net user loy liang yang followed by the password of password hit enter on that the command completed successfully i go back over into the login and i enter password as password i can click onto the i icon and you can see right here password is review i go ahead and click enter boom and done game over